Destructuring assignment. Take values from arrays or properties from objects and set them as local variables. It's a technique that can make your JavaScript code more concise and readable. Imagine you have an array and you want to assign some of its values to local variables. One option is to assign each variable by referencing its index in the array. That works fine, but it's not very elegant. With destructuring, we can do the same thing with a single line of code. By using brackets after const, we can assign a variable name to each index in the array. The position of the variable name matches the values index in the array. The syntax may look familiar to you if you've ever used React, which relies on destructuring for the use state hook. When working with arrays, you may want to omit a variable, which you can do by adding a comma without a variable name to skip that index. In other cases, you might want to name the first couple variables, then put the remainder in their own array. That can be achieved by putting three dots in front of the variable name. You might also want to set a default value in case the value in the array is undefined. Use the equal sign to provide the fallback value. In addition to arrays, destructuring also applies to objects. Notice how we're duplicating the object's property name as a variable with dot notation. By putting braces after const, you can reference property names which will automatically become local variables, which is much cleaner than referencing them line by line with dot notation. And just like arrays, you can use the equal sign to set a default value. But in some cases, you may want to use a different name than what's provided on the object itself. Adding a colon after the property name allows you to rename it, which is especially useful when dealing with name collisions, or when working with objects that use property names that are not valid variable names. In addition to renaming, you can also use a colon to access nested properties, or in other words, set a variable from an object within an object. In addition to destructuring top-level variables, you can also use the syntax in for loops, which is awesome when you have an array of objects. When working with functions, you can destructure arrays and objects passed as arguments, providing yet another way to obliterate unnecessary lines of JavaScript from your codebase. This has been Destructuring Assignment in JavaScript in 100 seconds. Make sure to hit the like button, it really helps out these short videos. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more, hang out for a minute while we go over a few more advanced tricks that you may not know about. One thing that array destructuring enables is variable swapping without the need for an intermediate variable. It doesn't come up often in JavaScript, but it is a useful thing to know for computer science in general. Normally, to swap two variables, you need a temporary variable because once the first variable is reassigned, you lose its value. But with array destructuring, we have the syntax available to perform a swap without the need for the intermediate variable. Use destructuring to reassign the values by putting the original two in an array, but in reverse order. You'll probably almost never do that, but you might be able to use it to impress someone on a technical interview someday. The other thing I wanted to show you is that destructuring can also be used with regular expressions. When you run the match function on a string, it returns an array of results. You can then easily provide descriptive variable names for the regular expression matches. That's cool, but I have one last thing to mention. Imagine you want to destructure an object, but you don't know the property name until runtime. You can use computed properties in destructuring just like you can with object literals. By wrapping a property name in brackets, it now takes a variable as its value instead of a static name. In other words, it's computed at runtime, which you can then follow with a colon to provide it with a static variable name to use in your code. And that's pretty much everything I know about destructuring.